once again, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I want to show you something that I've created. This is a 50 hour candle. I don't know if these cameras are picking up this or not. If not, I will make another video with a better camera. But this is called a 50 hour candle. And I'm going to show you how to make this candle. Just by using a jar, candle wick, and a secret ingredient. Come on, follow me. I'll show you how to make them. I don't need a light, but just to show you that I'm here. Now yeah, let's take a look at that pretty little light we got here. I just got. I bought this jar today at the Hobby Lobby, and some wicks that you can get at Hobby Lobby also. So let's show you how to make these 50-hour candles. Come on with me. Ooh, it's dark. Can you see the moon? Probably not. <laughs> All right. It's pretty dark in here. All right. This is how I made the 50 hour candle. All right. These are the items you need. You need some short ink or um, crystal oil, a jar, and you can buy these little hefty, crafty candle wicks. You get you can get the wick the size that you want, or you can just buy a whole thread of uh, candle wick, and you can make the jar you want. This candle should last about 50 hours. Let's take a look. Now, shortening, it's easy to come by. Today, I'm going to, oh no. All right, my camera stand lost its little thingy thing. All right. Alright, the ingredients is shortening. You can go get Cristo or any type of shortening. You need a candle wick and a jar. Any type of jar with a lid or just a cup. Doesn't matter. Whatever suits you. What you want to do is put that wick at the bottom in the middle. Make it a little lard. And you can melt your, your lard in the thing, but you have to have the thing being hold it. I was just trying to put it in there while it's still in hard form. There we go. You just put your lard and stuff it in there as much as you can. Keeping your wick straight. Now, the reason why I choose these little jars, now I can put this in my camping gear and use this as a candle. Now, it's probably be easy if you had this melted, but I find it just as easy just to pull it out the bag or the can of shortening. Now think about this, let's say you're in the woods and you need something to fry something. Hey, as long as you didn't like this wick, you got oil. Crystal oil, uh, crystalline shortening can work. Uh, any type of lard will work. It should be a, this size cup should give me about 50 hours the bigger the cup the more hours you have um, 
so it's up to you what you want to build, how much you want to spend. I only spend like um, what, 12 bucks for two jars and the wick, and I got this for free at my job. I think that's it. Now, if it was melted, it'd be easy to pour, but then I have to hold the middle and hold the wick. But just packing it in and make sure it's packed and cleaned around the size, you should have no worries. All right. Just pack it in really good. That's all you have to do is put your finger in. You can always put this in the microwave and it will melt. Or a tub of hot water. Just heat some water on your on your on your stove, and put this jar in the thing. It will be liquefy, it will liquefy the oil, and it will come the whole thing be full, solid, and looking nice. All right, that's enough. Pull the wick out a little bit. All right, yeah, you know what that looks like. All right, what I'm gonna do is take a match, clean a little bit of the wick so I can get a good light. Like I said, you can, I can put this in water and it will melt the oil and it will be more, you know, looking pretty, <laughs> I guess. And there you have it. A 50 hour candle for the price of what? Three uh two ninety seven seventy nine and the jars were a dollar ninety nine. I can go get jars anywhere, but I just wanna make these special because they had the lid and the seal. Alright. Let me wash my hands all this grease. Like I said, I could have melted the oil, the shortening, and, and um, poured it in there, but I have to have a little thing holding it up. And this should last me for 50 hours. Now, if I could take this in the woods, I can use the oil to cook food with. That candle is not going to destroy the taste and the flavor. So I have multiple use of this candle. I can't eat wax. I can't cook with wax, but hey, I can cook with shortening. Any type of shortening or lard. Some people use crystal. I just use some lard for my job and bam, I have a 50 hour candle. And if I have to, I can cook with this. I hope you enjoyed this short video of me making a 50 hour candle with shortening. I, uh, I'm Ranger Cookie. And I want to give a small shout out to the uh, flesh eaten barefoot trail thing. I forgot your goddamn name. Oh, I'm so bad with names. Forgive me. Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.